YouTube video. Okay, guys. So we are here to learn how to set up your screen when you're DMing. If you are using just one computer and therefore you only have one screen, a lot of people always ask me, how do you set up your screen? Because when I DM, I got 25,000 things open and it's all crazy and my maps are covering up everything and I can't do it. So this is what I like to do. Uh, first thing I do is I scale my UI to 80. So if you've never done that, you type in slash scale UI, all one word, S-C-A-L-E-U-I, space 80. You can set it to any number between 50 and 200, but 80 is very nice for DMing uh, because you can still read everything and um, it sets the screen uh, nicely. And so if you want, when, you, when you rescale, I find that I have to restore window and then uh, re-maximize it just to get the lines on the outside of the screen right. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, normally when players uh, load up, their tokens will, of course, be up here. Uh, and so I, I like to have my chat window there. Now, when I broadcast, right in this area here, I always have my Discord overlay going. Uh, you might not do that as a DM, but I have right in this area the player's uh, little icons, and when they talk, their icon turns green. That way anybody watching can see the them light up, uh, and you know you might, uh, you might not use that area for that. If that's the case, what you can do is you can unlock the chat box, and you can slide it over to be a little bigger. And the reason you want to do that is because as a DM, you're going to open the combat tracker. You're going to make sure that it is the least width possible, so it can go wider, but you want to make sure it's all the way uh, as small as it can get left to right. And you're going to place it basically right at the top of the chat window. And then if you're not using uh, anything in that space, you can make the chat window go over here like that, and then you can relock it. And that way, any dice rolls in there, uh, you know, anything that happens, you, you can still read it. And if it goes beyond, if it goes up too far to the combat tracker, then you can still scroll and find it. So it's not a problem. Uh, so then what I do is I will just open any map here. Let's let's go find a good map. What do I want? Uh, ooh, I didn't have anything open in the library. So let me open a library thing, and I will just grab any module. Uh, which will say, out of the abyss, that's as good as anything. Um, and I will load up a map. So, whoops, uh-oh, what did I do? Uh, let's go to out of the abyss. Let's get some maps. Uh, that is a picture, we don't want that. Let's type in map and see if we get lucky in this. Oh, look at all these maps, okay. So I'm going to open up this map. Okay, so say I have this map. Now what I like to do is I like to make the map as big as it can be in this space, leaving space on the bottom of the screen. Like the the uh, the players will see, and sometimes the DM will see the uh, dice tower right down here. And so I like to leave this whole area right here open uh, just, just uh, to have a little bit more space. And I'll show you also why I'm doing that. So I'm going to resize the map by holding control and left clicking and dragging the map to the size I want. Let's let's call it, uh, let's say I want it to be that size there. Now, different maps are going to have different things in them and whatever, but I usually like to go to resize, choose the left circle, which adjusts it horizontally, and that way you have the whole map there. Uh, that's the entire map, and it, y you see that it resized the box, so I just wanted to make sure I saw the whole thing just to take a look at it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stretch it out again by holding control and left dragging on the map. Uh, you can, If you left drag and hold control, you can resize the map any way you want. And I'm going to put it at about there. That's pretty good. Now when I scroll, and I can, I can scroll down and see what I need to see. So I have that there. Now this bottom space, what I like to do is anytime you open a story entry, uh, anything that you might open, you're going to get the box like that, right? Any Anything on the map, the mouse click, anything like that. So all of these that come this way, I've seen some best practices of people do this, and I really like it. I drag all my boxes down like this, and then I open them this way. 
so that they're pretty stretched out. I can read everything that's there, and I can flip back between the map and the box and be like, oh, look there. Meanwhile, oh, let me close the library. Meanwhile, I've got the combat tracker, so everything that's happening over there I can still see. I've got the map. I've got my boxes down here. Let me open a couple more, right? So every time I open one, I just bring it on down and stretch it out. It doesn't have to be exact, but as long as you have it in that general area, then, uh, you know, you'll be able to do that. And if you get too many, uh, if you get, whoops, if you get too many of them open, let me stretch this out here. If you get too many of them open, uh, you know, you can just close them as you do. Uh, but then anytime you, when you open something you haven't done before, it, it'll do that and you can drag it down and change it. Or if you open, if you open one that you have already done, it'll of course be down there. Yeah, I did that one. Uh, it'll be down there size like that. So that's a good way to organize your screen uh, so that you can still see everything and nothing goes behind anything and it doesn't make you crazy. Now, also what I like to do as DM is I have the party sheet available and I always stick the party sheet in the upper right-hand corner like this. So I got my party sheet. I got you know all my tabs on my party sheet that I can go through. And I just click the party sheet button, open and close. If I need it, I look at it, get rid of it. Uh, I don't need it hanging around like I do the combat tracker. Um, if you use the calendar, I don't necessarily place that in any certain place because you're not going to use it very much. Just open it up and use it, close it. Uh, color palette, uh, color changer, daytime changer. These are all stuff that you wouldn't really normally use all that often. Uh, same with the options. You might open it up, do something, close it back up. Uh, modifiers. Um, I don't use this that much myself, and when I do, it would be a case where I just open it up, do what I have to do, and then close it again. It's not something that really hangs around. And the same with effects. Uh, I have built a, a module that has uh, 6 billion effects in it. Actually, there's... Um, let me find it here. Uh, conditions and effects. There's actually about 150 of them in there. When you open that up, they're all in there, so I've got like every kind of effect you can possibly imagine here. And what I like to do usually with that is if you have some that you've built or if you have my module, you can open this up to be a little bit bigger so that when you open it, um, you can uh, you know, go through it or search for one. Like, where's exhaustion? Let me find that. There it is. Exhaustion 1, 2, 3, 4. And so uh, I could just drag right over to the combat tracker if I had somebody in there and wanted to put it on there. So, but that, again, doesn't stay open uh, all the time. So... Uh, any of these buttons that you might open, uh, you know, all this stuff isn't going to really be stuff that you have open all the time. You're just going to open it and use it and then close it again. So none of this really needs to be organized in any certain way. You can do it, uh, obviously, if you want to. Uh, but this is better for just uh, being a DM and having everything that you need. Uh, so you can... You can work with the chat window, make your rolls, uh, do anything in there, type whispers, whatever you have to do. The combat tracker is there. Your map is here. And basically, that's what you need as a DM. And if you set up your screen this way, it will be much less frustration for you. And you will be able to uh, organize your screen this way and have, have a great time uh, using Fantasy Grounds as a DM. And not be overwhelmed as I was until I figured this out by watching a bunch of different people and using the best practices of all those people. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is everything that you would need to know. Of course, you can adjust this and change it uh, to, to fit your liking. But the point is, is that you are able to use the map, use the combat tracker, use the chat window, open things up and close them and not have them be all in your face. And then all of your items that are um, story entries, just remember to drag them down, resize them. Keep them all right there so you can flip back and forth between the map and that, and it's a, it's a good deal. So, guys, I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to wrap up this portion. Um, and I will uh, also make a video for the player's side uh, so that you can uh, have that as well. So look for that if you are wanting to show how to set up your screen as a player, uh, which is a little bit different than what we have here. Thanks, guys.